When we're thinking about a strength and conditioning program, we often forget about locomotion. And this involves any type of cyclical movement that gets you from point A to point B, right? This could be walking, running, riding a bike, swimming, carrying something heavy. It could be jogging, sprinting, anything that involves a repeated cyclical pattern. Now, any locomotion activity can be performed at low intensities, moderate intensities, or high intensities. And of course, with a variety of movement patterns or implements, it just really depends on the desired outcome. For instance, if you're training a strongman, you might have them do a heavy farmer's walk, which is a form of loaded carry. For a soccer athlete, you might also do farmer's walks, or you might send them for some hill sprints. It's important not to forget locomotion, because even though a lot of our athletes get that in their sport, you might not be incorporating any sort of actually functional training into your program. And so by adding some sort of a loaded carry or a sled pushing uh, type of activity into your program, now we're taking that strength that you're developing in the gym and we're translating it into more of a functional pattern that you can use in, in daily life.